Happy Arvel. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? Today I want to look at some Australian animals, but you know, I've seen the typical ones. So we're diving a little deeper. Five most exotic animals in Australia by Pedopedia. Interesting name. Check out their channel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, check out their channel. Link down below. I'm here for the animals. Five most exotic. <laughs> Let's go. I saw that black kangaroo the other day. That's kind of what got me thinking. I need to see more exotic Australia is home to the most unique and interesting animals in the world. Many of these animals are found nowhere. I've never seen a kangaroo that looks that soft. It looks like you it looks like wool, like you could shave them for some wool. Interesting animals in the world. Many of these animals are found nowhere else on earth. Wow. Look at that freaking thing. Is that a kookaburra? While some people may think of Australia as a desolate and dry place, it is actually home to a wide variety of ecosystems and habitats. Of From the rainforests of the north to the deserts of the south, Australia- Now, before watching these videos, I never knew Australia had a rainforest. But now I know up on that, up on that uh, like eastern north kind of coast, right? Australia is home to many different types of animals. Here are just a few of the unique and exotic animals that you can find in Australia. Pedopedia. Pedopedia. Do you remember Perry the platypus from Venus and Fur? Perry and Venus have shared a lovely and close bonding as pets and owners for years, right? Watching. I think I'm too old to know that show that you might have also wanted a platypus as your pet during childhood. But apart from that, do you know that platypus is one of Australia's most recognized animals? The semi-aquatic creature comes with water-resistant fur and loves to play- What's kind of weird is the platypus is super iconic. Like it's, I don't know, especially growing up. Just saying the word platypus, everybody would laugh, you know what I mean? It was. It was one of those lol random words. You could just say platypus and it, everybody would laugh. Those were the days. Um, but I never associated it with Australia for some reason. Not like a kangaroo, you know. That everybody knows is Australian. But I feel like platypus, it's kind of low-key Australian. Of course it is, though. It's so weird. In the freshwater rivers. Platypus really doesn't have any stomach, not even the digestive enzymes or acids to break the food down. Huh. You might be thinking about where their eaten food goes. Well, instead of having a separate pouch to store eaten food, its esophagus is directly connected with its intestine. And whatever foods they intake, all of them directly digest in their intestine from their gullets. Also, they can sense what is around them, as its bowl has- That's crazy. It sounds kind of efficient. Why don't we all do that? As thousands of cells. I bet you they poop so quick after eating. It can easily detect the electric fields of any living thing. Having an electromechanical huh? sensory apparatus, the platypus can easily. I never knew they had living thing. Having an those like fingers on their on their feet. Oh my gosh. They're scary when you look at them outside the water. Electromechanical sensory apparatus, the platypus can easily feel the presence of prey even with its eyes closed. Wow, so they've got that actual like sixth sense. Like how you kind of can feel someone looking at you from behind. The platypus actually can. Sugar glider, wondering why this name? Well, sugar gliders get their name from their extreme love for sugar. The natural habitat includes sweet in their diet. Yes, they are animals with a sweet tooth. And no matter what sweet treat you give them, they will enjoy it. Apart from it's like the most innocent animal ever. Sugary foods, they also eat veggies, insects, and other food supplements. Since they are omnivorous, their diet is highly varied. Since sugar gliders are social animals, they don't like living alone at all. Instead I remember some guy was selling sugar gliders here in Indiana and at the mall. And he was doing it for like a week and they were flying around the mall and then i mean it was kind of cool but then one day they were like they shut him down they're like that's illegal he he had no business being here <laughs> okay it's 
kind of sad though, it was kind of cool. Instead, they prefer living in colonies in the wild forest. In their colony, it is common to find seven to nine adults and their children all cohabiting together. This is why they're widely... People keep these as pets pretty commonly in Australia. ...social in nature and love living with big fat families. <laughs> you might be wondering about, can sugar glider fly? Unfortunately, sugar gliders cannot, but they do glide some impressive distances due to a unique body part. They love to jump around from their cage... They fall in style. ...to their owner's shoulder, to a couch. They can reach about 150 feet and easily can... Okay, what is up with the net on that basketball hoop? These things are real-life Buzz Lightyear. ...leap out to catch flying insects. Next, we have the Tasmanian Devil on our list, and this is not just a Looney Tunes cartoon character. Instead, they are the most... I was always disappointed, you know, growing up, you saw the Tasmanian Devil. ...our list, and this is not just a Looney Tunes... And the real life one just doesn't look anything like the cartoon. ...cartoon character. Instead, they are the most unusual mammals, found only on the island state of Tasmania, which is a part of Australia. There are also marsupials that are related to koalas and kangaroos. Plus, you'll be surprised to know that they are the world's largest carnivorous marsupial. There is no limit to the amount of food these hungry guys can consume in a day, and they will eat anything they can find. However, their species is in danger, and wildlife experts are doing everything they can to save them. Moreover, they are shy, timid, and not dangerous to people unless attacked or trapped. Or if they're hungry. However, when they do feel threatened, they do strange yawns that look quite fierce. This behavior is actually more a display of fear and anxiety than aggression. Mm. Quolls are a type of marsupial that, what the heck is that? that is found in Australia and New Guinea. There are six different species of quoll, and they range in size from the spot-tailed quoll, which comes in the size of a small cat, to the tiger quoll, which is about the size of a large dog. Quolls are carnivorous animals and their diet consists mainly of small mammals. See, now I've never heard of this at all. Quoll? I've heard of the quail. Quolls, reptiles, birds, and insects. Quolls are an important part of the ecosystem in Australia. It's basically a rat, but polka dot, which makes it cuter. And they play a vital role in controlling the populations of mice, rats, and other small mammals. Quolls are also an important I like them, then. food source for many predators such as snakes, birds of prey, and dingoes. Unfortunately, quolls are under threat from habitat loss and predation by introduced species such as foxes and cats. Wait, you guys have foxes? The wallaby is a small to medium-sized mammal found in Australia and New Guinea. There are several different species of wallaby. We all know about the wallaby. Including the red-necked wallaby, the swamp wallaby, and the agile wallaby. Wa is there like a rare wallaby though? Wallabies are marsupials, which means they have a pouch on their stomach where they carry their young. Wallabies are herbivorous as their diet consists mainly of grasses and leaves. They're typically nocturnal animals and they spend most of their day resting in the shade. I didn't well, know they were nocturnal. Wallabies are very shy and secretive creatures, and they are rarely seen by humans. So, wallabies are nocturnal, but kangaroos aren't. If you ever see a wallaby in the wild, you'll be able That's to right. observe these fascinating creatures up close. Just be sure to give them plenty of space, as they will quickly retreat if they feel threatened. So, these are the exotic animals in Australia, but that's not the end. There are more amazing animals in that you will love to discover. Oh yeah, I know Australia is full of crazy animals. That's one of the coolest things about the continent itself, is just the wildlife. The variety it is so interesting compared to any other country or continent. You know, I mean, I guess Africa has some pretty freaking cool animals, too. But there's nothing really more unique than the wildlife of Australia. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.